Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you what is web service. Web service can be defined as the application which allow a program to talk to engine or our server instead of using your browser to open a web page. So we can compare it with the web based application. In web based application, we have a server on which application is deployed. We are having a URL. We are putting that URL on the browser. A page, a web page is open. We are giving some input and we are getting output on the web page. So that's a web based application. But in the case of the web service, application is deployed on the server, but we cannot access that application by using any URL, browser or web page. Web service only allow other programs to talk that server means web service is deployed on the server if i want to interact with web service i have to write a program in any programming language which can interact with the server which can send input to the server which can receive output from the server so web service are quite similar to the web based application it is deployed on the server and similar to the web based application but it does not provide any ui if you want to get result we have to interact it by using any programming language. Unlike traditional client server models such as web server, web page, web service do not provide any UI to interact. Here, web service just providing the business logic which is written on the server means only the application is deployed on the server side. We can interact with that by using any programming. If I'm providing my UI, so user can access my application through only one UI, which is I have provided. But in the case of the web service, I have just pasted the business logic, any other application which is written in any programming language, either it will be a web application, either it could be a, a mobile application, any other application. So any application can interact with me because I'm just interacting with the any programming language. So I'm just providing the programming interface. So web service do not have, have its own UI. We can take example of the Google web service. Google has developed a web service and providing a UI as well. It means they are providing web based application as well as web service. If you talk about the web based application, you will have to go to the maps.google.com type your home address and it will give the map on the browser. So that's a web based application. But I'm taking example of company A, which want to develop similar kind of functionality as Google is providing. So one way is that we are writing the computer program. We are writing the programs separately, which will take the input from the user and will show the map. That is one approach. But other approach it could be, I am going to the Google, I am taking their licenses and my application which is written in any programming language is interacting with the Google web service. So advantage is that we need not to write the same code which has already written by the Google. If I am going to write the same code which already has written by the Google, it will take one year, two year or maybe more. But now what we can do, we can go to the Google, we can take their licenses and now my application which is written in any language can interact with the Google web, web service. So UI part will be developed by my company, but at the behind we are going to call Google web service. So result will come from the Google web service. So what we can do, we can call this Google web service and whatever the result which will be returned by the Google web service, we can display that result in my UI. So ultimately, a mapping application will be developed in 15 days or maybe one month and it will be cheaper as well because if you are going for complete development it will take two years three years it will take a lot of resources here what we are doing we are just calling the Google web service which is already developed which is already tested it's a gain situation it's an advantage situation for both the sided Google is getting some license fees because of these web services and the other company are able to develop application very fast with the low cost because hardware software resources cost has been reduced application is developed only in one month 
by calling the Google Web Service. So ultimately, the company A cost is also reduced. So that is the advantage for both the side, the company which is developing the web service and the company which is consuming the web service. We can understand web service like Google or maybe we, we can understand any web service. So they have developed the business logic and placed on the server side. So that's I'm taking example that's a server. Now anybody who want to develop the application. So company A is developing web application. Company B is developing mobile application. Company C is developing the application for the tablets. So they just need to call the same web service from the different devices and company A, company B and company C, they are developing their own UI. But behind the scene, they are calling the web service of Google because I'm taking the example of the Google. So they are calling the web service of the Google. Google is giving them result and they display result on their UI. I'm going to show you one example of the Google web service. So moving to my browser. So that's a Google web service. That's a Google web service page. Here it is showing all the services which are provided by the Google. So one is Google Map Geocoding API, Google Place API, Google Maps API. So I'm clicking on this Google Maps Geocoding API. So they are saying like you have to purchase the license for accessing this API, but we can take they are providing two kind of service geocoding and a reverse geocoding. And if you want to use that service, that is the URL which you can use, which you can hit by using any programming language. But again, at the end, you can see we have to enter the key over here. We are going to get this key only in the case when we purchase the license from the Google. So this is the URL or we can call it URI in case of services, we call it URI. So that is the URI of Google web service which we can use to access the services which is provided by the Google but we have to enter our license key over here and this service can be accessed by any programming language we are not concerned about in which language Google has developed this web service we can access these services from any programming language that's all we have for web service introduction Thanks for watching this video. Hello friends. Hope you are enjoying our videos. Here we have created lot of video courses which are specially designed for software testers. This is the list of our courses. We have more than 30 unique courses which you can buy in dollar 200. If you want to buy any 10 courses you can take it in dollar 100 and you can buy any individual course in dollar 15 you can contact us on email or the number which i have provided for these videos